Karibu Auburn High. Welcome to Auburn High School. Talofa Lava Laupele Auburn High School. Maligayang pagdating sa Auburn. Bienvenidos sa Auburn High School. Chúc mừng tới trường học Auburn High. Namaste, Auburn High School. Svetnats Auburn High School. Malalele, welcome to Auburn High School. Welcome to Auburn High School. This is Chosen News. Welcome all to our first Trojan News newscast. My name is Savannah Fincher. And I'm Nicole Murillo. We are very excited to be making a change in the student engagement in our Trojan community. Our purpose is to disperse information, get the student body involved, and promote events. Throughout the newscast, we will be highlighting the amazing things being done around AHS. Every week, we will be delivering different segments to help you stay involved and up to date with our school. Now it's time to meet the Trojan News team and their roles. What's up, Auburn? I'm Xavier Smith. And I'm Marco. We're going to be reporting all Auburn Trojan sports. Including Athlete of the Week, highlights of games, and stats. So catch both of us at any sport event you're interested in. Now let's check in with our club reporter. Hey guys, my name is Miriam, and in this segment we'll be sharing with you guys all of our events, announcements that are coming up, and awards. What's good, y'all? I'm Alexa. And I'm JT. And in this segment called Student Voice, you guys as a student body will have the opportunity to voice your opinions on our weekly interviews. We'll include shout outs and fun things to do in Auburn and also selective questions as well. For example, this past week we went around lunches asking about 10 people how they felt about Trojan News. And now, let's see what they had to say. What's your name and your grade? Uh, Maya, and I'm in 10th grade. All right, Maya. Maya. All right, Maya. So, from a scale of one to four, how effective are the school announcements? One to four? Yeah. Two. Why? I mean, nobody really listens to them. Right. Okay. Okay. And how likely are you to listen to the daily announcements? A two. A two. Okay. Why? I, I'm one of the people that doesn't listen to them. She's one of the people who don't listen. Okay. So, how interested would you be in watching the Trojan News opposed to listening to them every morning? A three. A three? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Who am I here with? What's your name and your grade? Um, my name is Isaiah Thurman. Um, I'm a junior. All right. So, Isaiah, from a scale of one to four, how effective are the school announcements? Um, I have to say mm, probably like a two sometimes. Um, since, like, they cover, like, some mandatory stuff, I feel like some things are unannounced that should be. Um, I've mentioned this a few times to like um, staff and teachers and stuff, so hopefully it improves in like the upcoming school year. That was a very educated answer. How likely are you to, to listen to the daily announcements? Um, I try and pay attention to them like the best I can, yeah. and stuff, so, so I don't miss anything. And if I do, I'll just like ask some people that I know. How interested would you be in watching the Trojan News as opposed to the announcements? Um, I feel like watching it um, can like give you like a visual representation. So some people like remember stuff um, very visually. So I think that can be like useful to some students than others. You're very articulated, Isaiah. Yes. All right, thank you, Isaiah. So what is your name and your grade? Gustavo Gonzalez, tenth grade. All right, Gustavo. Um, on a scale of one to four, how effective are the school announcements? Two. One. Um, they're usually quiet. I don't know. Boring? Yeah, they're boring. How likely are you to listen to the daily announcements? Two. Why? Because I have my AirPods on me. All right. How interested would you be in watching the Trojan News as opposed to watching the announcements? I'd be more likely to watch it. All right, hello, guys. Who are we here with today? Kimara. And Eliana. And what grade are you guys in? I'm freshman. Freshman. And then I just want to ask a question to you guys. Are, how effective are the announcements in the morning? They are like how like during the different months, like Black History Month, Women's History Month, they always talk about extra stuff. And I be hearing you, JC. I be hearing you in there. But I feel like, what do you, how do you say it? They, it's like uplifting, if that makes sense, in a way. And how about you? Uh, they help a lot because like sometimes I don't mean really knowing like things that are going on in the school so like it helps a lot to like know that there's different activities during uh, the daytime and stuff so yeah they're really effective that's good that's good and then how likely are you guys to listen to the daily announcements and you could be honest it's, it's, it depends on the day yeah, it, really Some does. Days. it really does it really depends it depends 
And then how interested would you guys be in listening to Trojan News instead of announcements? Oh, Trojan News, yeah, I would, I would do that. that Trojan sounds, News is... That sounds really fun. That sounds like it has, like, more bounce to it, if you know. If you yeah, it's, like, more uplifting. <laughs> Thank you reporters for giving us a brief explanation of what we will be expecting in each segment. We hope we have captivated your interest with our Trojan News newscast. Stay tuned for the weekly newscast and remember Trojans, make, make it a great day the Trojan way!